Hey everybody, I'm back again. Um, coronavirus TV. So everybody, uh, I was very pleased with the Lewis structures. I, at the rate we're going, I could be doing Lewis structures for weeks, and uh, I didn't. I'm not even going to get to my favorite Lewis structures. The um, polyatomic ions and the double and triple bonds and really great a lot of fun to draw but I'm going to move on uh, because I feel as if like we should at least you can't have chemistry without talking about them all it's a very useful thing and if we were back in class you know this was a time for you to like exercise your math skills again, use all the stuff like that we learned in the beginning of the year with conversion factors and significant figures and scientific notation and moving decimal places and making adjustments in the exponent power and adding and subtracting and multiplying and all that stuff. It's all back and it starts with the mole. So what is a mole? It's not a it's not a furry nearsighted rodent. It's it's a it's a word that stands for a number, and you can read all about this in any textbook. But if you're watching my video, you might as well learn it here. Uh, the mole, my dog, she's at my feet, doing so good. The, oh, you know what? Let me let me start out with a joke. Let's get this all. You know, I, I have an old joke that I just, for some reason, I didn't tell. It's like a Thanksgiving joke, but I might not have told it. Maybe because I was angry at the class. Not me, angry. I'm never angry. I don't know who that could be. But the, uh, it, it, where do you store a uh, turkey, a, stuffy, a stuffing seasoning? Where is a good place to store? Where is a good place to store a stuffing, a particular stuffing seasoning? I see I'm, I'm a little rusty at these jokes. Uh, the answer is where to, of where to store a particular stuffing seasoning is a time slot. Time is the seasoning. It's the, you know, parsley, sage, rosemary, thyme. Yeah. I think it's funny. I don't know. For some reason it strikes me as funny. A mole. A mole is a word that represents a number, a big number. We use words for numbers all the time. Uh, we say a key for a kilo in certain certain segments of the community. Not, I don't do that, but in certain TV shows, they say keys. Uh, a dozen eggs. A dozen is an e for eggs, but we could have a dozen of anything. A score of years, four score and seven years ago. That sounds so poetic when you're talking about the founding of the country. President Lincoln used that instead of saying, hey, seven, 87 years ago, he said four score. It sounds better. Score is 20, but any score of anything. 20 years, 20 anything, it's a score. And a mole. We could have a mole of anything, it's a big number. The number has... I can't even draw it on here, I don't have enough room to write all the... Here's a, a mole of something, could be like this. That's like a mole. That's a mole. And how much does a mole weigh in grams? A really tiny number, fraction, with zeros to the right of a decimal. So you see where scientific notation now is going to come into play. So the mole, M-O-L-E, is going to be equal to what's 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd power. That's a mole. It's also sometimes referred to as Avogadro's number, Amadeo Avogadro, Italian 
chemist of note. But uh, how did he know? How did he figure this out? Well, it's a story for another time. But anyway, that's the word, and it, it, we're going to be converting, using the conversion factors and going. It, we, it's a very appropriate word for a number. I could say I got a couple moles of something. It's still saying I got six times ten to the 23rd. A billion, 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 you know, atoms or molecules or ions or formula units where the mole is very useful. It could also be a mole of Oreo cookies. That would, that would keep me happy. Matilda, do I need to let you out? She's trapped. All right, hold on. Here. Leave. Sorry about that. All right, so anyway, so that's it. So, so we're going to be in this particular assignment that I'm going to give you. We're going to be working with the mole, and we're going to use the abbreviation M-O-L. Isn't that exciting? Drop the E. It's not exciting. One mole, two moles, 7.63 moles, 7.63. That's three significant figures, isn't it? But what would 7.603 be? Well, that would be four significant figures because the zeros between non-significant, between significant figures are significant. Remember all that? <laughs> I know. It's all coming back. And remember conversion factors? Remember when I gave you something like this where I said I have 2.3 kilograms and I said how many grams is that? And I know that one kilogram is equal to a thousand grams and the kilograms cancel out and it would be 2,300 grams is the answer. It's the same exact amount expressed as grams intended instead of kilograms. Well, now we're doing... My other dog wants to leave. All right, fine. Get out. Don't come back. Oh, now you want to come back in? Matilda? Driving me crazy. The problem is she opens the door. That's why I locked her in here so she wouldn't come out and come in and interrupt me. Problems. Problems that we all have to deal with. All right, so anyway, so we're going to be doing this. Let's just get right into it. Let me give you a problem to do. Let me, let me show you a problem. Suppose, suppose I had a problem where I said that we had 0 0.187 moles of sodium ions and I want to know how many sodium ions that was see that's she learned how to open the door are you coming in come in come in come in it's okay just stop opening the door Okay, you also might be wondering, what kind of door is this? It's not like a door. And th why does it have like, a latch? <laughs> what the heck is going on in this house? Do they have normal doors? <laughs> door, door. It's a long story. All right, I'm sorry. I'm losing it. Okay, so anyway. <laughs> so you're giving this amount. Of ions. How many ions is that? Well, we use a conversion. I know that one mole is equal to 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd of anything ions, okay, of sodium. And so now I just cancel out the moles and I end up multiplying 0.187 times 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd, and that will give me the answer in the units that I want, ions. Cancel out the units you want to get rid of, leave the units you want remaining behind, and that's your answer. 
Now, this is the method I'd like you to use because there is going to be in the future, which we probably won't get to, there will be multiple conversion factors in chemistry problems where it can get complicated. So if you just follow this method, which I want you to show me in your answers, uh, you can't go wrong. So now we have to multiply a number in scientific notation. How do we do that? You don't remember? You don't remember? 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd times point. 0 0.187. Wait a second, this is four significant figures and that's three significant figures, so the answer is limited to the lower of the two. You <laughs> see where we're going here? <laughs> I know. And wait, what's this in scientific notation? 10 to the 0, which equals 1, so it's still, that's scientific notation. We add the exponents here and multiply those two numbers, and that's going to be my answer. So what's 23 plus 0? 10 to the 23. It doesn't change. And what's 6.022 times 0.187? Well, in your calculation, on your calculator, I get 6.022 times 0.11, oopsie. Times one eight seven, and I get one point one point one two six one four four, which is a crazy number, which we're going to reduce by to three significant figures because this has got four. So we're going to round this to three significant figures to 1.13. This is going to round that up to a three times 10 to the 23rd ions. That's the answer. And this is what I want to see. I want to see this set up like this. And you can do the calculation, but I want you to set it up. And that's how you do it. Look what just came in. You see this? Matilda. You learned how to open the door. Now I gotta teach you how to close the door. Okay. <laughs> she means well. All right, all right. Okay, I don't know if you figured this out yet, but this is the first practice problem on page 228. It's the first practice problem, page 228 of chapter 7, section 1. There are four of them in the middle of the page. The sample problem shows you how to do it. The practice problem gives you a chance to practice them. I did the first one. I'd like you to do two, three, and four. If you can, give it a shot. And I don't know if you've been checking your grades lately, but people have been doing the work have found that their grades have been going up. Haven't they? So um, that's your assignment. And I am blessedly going to stop the video now. Let's see, I didn't go the whole 15 minutes. So anyway, it's page 228, practice problems. Two, three, and four, because I already did one. So you can get the word out. If you know you don't want to watch the video, and that's all I got. So uh, also, um, I I've been trying to have some Google Meets, and I thought it was pretty simple. I had a each class scheduled for each day, and I have the link link located on the picture of chemistry underneath the class code. But I don't know. Some people weren't figuring it out. Maybe they were. I don't know. So anyway, I'm going to uh, maybe change things up and just open it up for whoever wants to show up. If you have any questions or you want me to show you anything or you just want to, like, give me a hard time about anything. Uh, so that that's it. So anyway, um, have a nice day, everybody, or night, or whenever it is you're watching this video. Okay? Um, That's it. Signing off.